Let us start. First off, choose what kind of clothes you'll wear. Great! Now choose the animal you want to be. Good choice! What colour do you want to be? Do you want to wear a hat? Well done! Now, if you want to start playing, choose... Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now, press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Well done! You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. If you keep walking, you can meet Peppa. <laughs> Let's go this way. Go visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes. You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello everyone, this is my new friend. Hello!
What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? Three, two, one. Splendid! Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is Sports Day. Whoa! What is Sports Day? Sports Day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay healthy. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children, start running on my count. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Pepper, and your friend is very fast. One last effort, children. You're almost at the finish line. You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend are already here. Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Ta-da! And now you can 
and knock it down. I love sandcastles. Let's make a sandcastle. First, put sand in your bucket. Get him down. Dr. Hamster will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. children. Take 
make this Jolly Roger flag. It's the famous pirate flag. You can plant it on top of the hill. Do you think you can do that? Yes, Mummy Mole. That's my favourite doll. Do you like it? It's very pretty. My grandpa is a sailor. Let's go this way. I love carrots. They are precious stones. Let's go this way. grow. Thank you, bees. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Let's go this way. I think it's too long for you. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes, we want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. Dinosaur! Oh, 
Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur! Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you will see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Let's keep looking. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Try it out, strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! <laughs> well, hello, little bird. What are you doing? I don't know. Have you, little bird? Chirp, chirp. Goodbye, little bird. Come visit us soon.
Hello there. You two seem to be having loads of fun together. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. A lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. 
follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Get around, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. Wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic. Basket. Let's go this way. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops! I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job! You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? <laughs> what was that? Ducks. 
What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <coughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? We could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, we have to give them some food. Oh, <laughs> all right. There you go, ducks. <coughs> I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit Peppa's house. Still is boring. Let's go. So ah, there you are. Peppa, we're taking you and your friends to Windy Castle. Windy Castle has a very tall tower. We'll get a view of the whole town. You'll see. Hooray! <coughs> Dinosaur! No, George, I'm afraid there are no dinosaurs up there. Dinosaur! But you can take Mr. Dinosaur with you. Dinosaur! All right, then. Why don't you two go and wait for us in the car while we finish getting ready? Yes, Daddy. We'll go there right away. Let's go to the car. Daddy will drive us to Windy Castle. You have arrived with Peppa and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. We can keep looking around. Bye. 
I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. See what else we can find. Mummy, Daddy, can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Pepper. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places. Even some that are very far away. of toys in the basket. Follow me. Phone is ringing. I wonder who is calling. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Danny Dog is Peppa's friend. His house is next to the forest. I am having a birthday party today at my house. Do you and your friend want to come? 
You'll need to dress like a pirate. A pirate birthday party? We'll come right away. Yar ha ha! Don't be late. Mummy, Daddy, please can we go to Danny Dog's birthday party? We're going to play pirate games. Ooh, pirates. I can't say no to that. Off to Danny Dog's house. Danny Dog's birthday. Good job. You have arrived at Danny Dog's birthday party. It is a pirate party. Welcome to my pirate birthday party! yaha Here are your costumes! I can't wait to see everyone dressed like pirates! <laughs> Is there someone hiding in there? Ah! What was that? Peppa, thank you for coming and thank you for bringing your friend. Pirates! Ahoy there, there Grandad Dog. Dog! Call me Dogbeard. <laughs> Today you will need to find the lost treasure of the pirates. Ooh! The lost treasure of the pirates is a very special treasure. It's so important, it's actually four treasures in one. How can it be four treasures in one? Good question, Danny. You see, the pirates of old didn't want anyone to find this treasure, so they split it in four parts and hid each part in a different place. Four parts? But we'll never find them all. They could be anywhere. Oh, but you're in luck, Peppa. I know where they all are. The first part is in the back garden of this very house. Ooh! But what about the rest? The second part was taken from me by my rival, the dreadful Captain Hog. Though some of you may know him as Grandpa Pig. <laughs> the third part is buried on Treasure Island. And finally, you'll have to look for the last part in the Caves of Gloom. That's by my house. And mine. Yes, well, the caves have had many different names throughout the years. Now, grab a map and be on your way. Treasure is hidden somewhere in the back garden. 
Let's go there. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. hunt and see if you can find the other pieces. You have found a piece of the treasure. Well done. Ahoy, pirates! We must head to Captain Hogg's hideout to get another piece of treasure. Are we all ready? Aye, aye aye! Hold on there, pirates! Before you get on the boat, you need to put on your life vests. I like life vests! You can get on the boat now. OK! Go on then, climb aboard! Anchors away! Full sail! Ah! The sea breeze! There's nothing like it! Aren't we on a river, Grandad? But of course, Daddy! And it carries the sea breeze with it! Now, this puts me in the mood for a song. The Jolly Pirates leave the sound in blue sea to find the golden treasure for sale by the bay. Captain Hogg's hideout. <laughs> Hello, little pirates. You have almost arrived at Captain Hogg's hideout. I'll give you a little tip. The treasure is hanging from the trees. But be careful. Captain Hogg himself is protecting it. So you have to find it without him seeing you. Good luck. I hope there are no pirates here trying to take my lovely treasure. Let's get the treasure. But don't let Grandpa see it. <laughs> Some 
someone trying to steal my trigger? Hello? Who's there? Is someone trying to steal my trigger? Hello? Who's there? Is someone trying to steal my trigger? Good job. You got the treasure without being seen. Good job, young pirates. You're close to finding all the parts of the treasure. The next stop is Treasure Island. The next part of the treasure is buried beneath its sands. My boat is this way. Follow me. Onwards. At full sail. What's that? It's a message. We need to take it to Granny. What's that, Pepper? It's a message from a bottle. Can you please read it to us? Of course. Let me see. You're a very lovely band of pirates. Really? Oh, yes. That's true. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is taking you for a day out on his boat. You will be going to a very interesting place. Everyone on board. Aye, aye, aye Captain Log! Full sail. I'm sure the formidable dog beard has warned you about me. A formidable? That's right. I've had many an adventure with that fearsome pirate. It was during our last adventure, in fact, that we found the grand treasure that you are looking for today. We couldn't decide who should keep it, so we split it and hid it in four different places. What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh! When the beep sounds faster, 
It means you're getting closer to the treasure. you two. You are the first to find the treasure on Treasure Island. It's all yours now. Well done. You are a great treasure hunter. And thanks to the metal detector, you have found the treasure hidden on the island. Pirates. Can we go home to look for the pirate treasure? Of course. Climb aboard the um pirate car. in here 
leads to a different place. Maybe one of them has the treasure. I think the treasure is in another cave. We like to have picnics with Mummy and Daddy. Let's go this way. My grandpa is a sailor. my picture book. It has very pretty pictures. Let's go this way. Shiny! You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Pepper, I see you have a new friend. Let's go this way. Mr. Potato! Do you like Mr. Potato? Pepper does. Let's go this way. Super Potato! Here's the power of vegetables. Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. Follow me. Let's go this way.
Let's go this way. Arr. Follow me. Let's see if we can get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Follow me. Shaking the tree will not help. Follow me. Let's go this way. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mummy Bear. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Why don't you all come in? We'd love to have you for tea. Oh, yes. Thank you. Here's the tea. Thank you, Mummy Bear. Oh, it's no bother. I was about to make some anyway. Oh, yes. We were just about to have tea with a very special guest. But he left just before you arrived. Did he now? And who was this mysterious guest? A mighty pirate, believe it or not. Oh, yes. A fearsome pirate of the seas. Wow. What was he like? Hmm, let's see. He had a big black pirate hat. He had a patch on his left eye. He had a golden hook too. And black boots to walk the plank. But most of all, he had a beard as red as a tomato. Wow! I wish I could have met him. Sadly, he had to leave in a hurry. He left so fast, in fact, that he forgot some of his things. Did he? Like what? He left his big black pirate hat. And the patch on his left eye. And his golden hook, too. And his black boots. And a strand of his red beard. Now that I think of it, would you mind finding all these things for us? Good idea. This way, we'll have them ready if he ever comes back for them. Yes, we will do it, won't we? Job. What else is missing? Great. We'll put it with the rest. Ah. 
Ah, I wondered if you would find this. There is still something missing, isn't there? Good find! I think that is all. Good job! Thank you! The pirate will be so happy if he ever comes back for his things. Thank you for helping us. Dinosaur? No, George, it's a hook. A pirate hook. <laughs> Don't worry, there aren't any dangerous bears out there. <laughs> Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. I'm planting seeds so that new plants will grow in the garden. Do you want to help me? Yes, please. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, pick one of the plants in the garden and grab a seed from it. Any plant? Yes, Peppa. Whichever you prefer. Ooh, but I don't know which one to pick. I know. Why don't you help me, Pip? Help Pepper and Grandpa grow a new plant in the garden. Go to one of the plants and pick up a seed. Don't leave yet. We should finish planting the seeds. Just pick one. Did you grab a seed? Well done. Now come back and plant it here. First, make a little hole. Now put the seed in. Cover it with earth and water it. Fantastic! Now a new plant will grow here. Will it take a long time, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Plants grow very slowly. Make sure to come back every once in a while to see how much the plant has grown. Good job. You have planted a new seed in Grandpa's garden. 
Make sure to come back here every once in a while to see the plants grow. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? a friend. Hello. Have you seen a chicken around here? Yes, Granny. She just left. Oh, my. That won't do at all. Peppa, can you and your friend help me find the missing chickens? I don't think they will have gone very far. Yes, yes, Granny. We will find them. It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? chickens left. still one chicken missing. the last one. All of the chickens are safe and sound now, thanks to you. Yuck! Grandpa, what is this for? Oh, that is called compost. It's a special muck that I use to fertilise the veggies. Be careful, though. It's very smelly. What does fertilise mean, Grandpa? It means it will help them grow bigger and be even more delicious. Why don't you try putting some in this patch of land? Oh, ho! Oh. Great job! Now the plants will grow strong and tall. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's friend. Hello, Grandpa. Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry 
while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Mm, yes, please. Splendid. Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny Pig's coop and bring them to the kitchen? Okay. Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. This way. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. I see. Why don't you take them yourself? Check inside the little house. Thank you, chicken. Ah, oh, I see you've got some eggs. Now, why don't you take them to the kitchen? I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Granny and Grandpa Pig are waiting for you in the kitchen. Better not make them wait too long. Delicious hard boiled eggs for you two. Why don't you sit at the table? Mmm, smells delicious. Enjoy your meal, everyone. It's very good. I'm glad you like it, Pepper. Ah, it's very good. I'm sorry, Polly. I don't think these would be good for you. It's very good! in the garden. Look, Polly, here's your food. It will give you energy. 